Here's how you position an R121 ribbon mic and an SM57 dynamic microphone in an axe mount dual microphone clip. First, you wanna take the R121 and snap it in this part of the holder. And you want the logo facing forward. And then you wanna line this transducer up, the edges of the, the mic, so that it is centered where the 57 is gonna go. So have the logo facing forward, center that. Then you're gonna take your 57 and you're gonna pop it in this part of the clip. And then you're gonna have the two microphones side by side, which is right where you want them for recording electric guitar. Now, you wanna get the phase relationship dialed in between the two microphones. So here's your starting point. Pull the 57 back until the seam of the microphone body lines up with the back edge of the axe mount. Um, that's a really nice position. Now that might not get you right where you wanna be. There's another spot to go for, and that is where the front of the microphone body before you get into the capsule um, lines up with the front edge of the axe mount. Either where the, the seam meets or the front meets or somewhere in between is where you're gonna to wanna to be. And then you've got two microphones positioned properly for use on an electric guitar cab. So the best way to position the two microphones with the axe mount is to take a flashlight and a mag light and shine it through the grill cloth of uh, the speaker cabinet or your combo amplifier. So you see the speaker and you want to line up the 57 right along where the dome meets the paper of the speaker. Now, once you've got it in that spot, the R121 is going to be sitting right on the dome and it's a magical spot for recording electric guitar, especially distorted electric guitar. Now, if you're gonna use a microphone beside an SM57 in this clip, you're gonna to need to find another position for it because the diaphragm of other microphones won't be in the same place that the 57s is. So you're gonna to have to do some moving to find out what works. You can't rely on this same instructional method uh, if it's not an SM57. Now, something interesting we've heard from a number of our clients is after they've set this up to use on electric guitar, they have uh, tried it on other instruments like acoustic guitars and uh, stand-up bass even, and said that it's pretty interesting and, and in some cases very good results. So. I wouldn't normally think of putting a 57 on a stand-up bass, but this whole thing is about experimenting and finding out what sounds good and what sounds interesting. So try this combo on other instruments too. It's really designed to be the ultimate electric guitar tone package, but these two mics could work on a number of other instruments as well. Enjoy your axe mount.